In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the sample mean and also the population mean. But first, we need to know what the difference is between the sample and the population. What would you say? What's the difference between the two? Let's draw a circle. And let's say this circle represents the population in city XYZ. So let's say this city has 100,000 people living in it. That's going to be the population represented by capital N. Now let's say that we want to measure the average weight of all citizens in this city. What we need to do is take a sample. It's not going to be practical to measure the weight of all 100,000 people because that's going to be a lot of work. But we can estimate the average weight of everyone living in the city by taking a small sample, let's say 100. And so the sample size, represented by lowercase n, as opposed to capital N, is 100. And so that's the difference. A sample is what it is. It's a sample of the population, a small portion of it. Now, how do we go about calculating the sample mean? The sample mean, represented by x bar, is basically the sum of all the data values divided by n, the number of individuals in a sample. The population mean, represented by the Greek letter mu, is also the sum divided by n, where n is the number of people in the entire city. This is the entire population. Ideally, we want the sample mean to be as close as possible to the population mean. And as we increase the sample size n, the sample mean will approach the population mean. So let's say if we increase the sample size from 100 to 1,000, we can get a better estimate of the population mean if we do that. But it's going to be 10 times more work to measure the weight of 1,000 people as opposed to 100. So there's a trade-off. If you want to get a more accurate answer, you need to do more work. Now there's something else that you need to know. And it's this. The sample mean is referred to as a statistic. Now I'm sure you heard the word statistic like median mode, these are statistics that basically measures of a sample. Now, the population mean is not considered a statistic, but there's a different term that applies to it. The population mean is referred to as a parameter. Now, you might not be used to hearing that one, but that's what it's referred to. It's a type of parameter. Now let's go over the formulas for a sample mean. The formula for the sample mean can also be represented this way using sigma notation. So it's the sum of the data values starting from the first data value and into the last one in the sample divided by the number of data items in the sample. So this is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 and then this continues all the way to the last item in the sample divided by n. Now for the population mean, the formula is very similar. The only difference is that we're not going to be used in lowercase n, but we're going to be using capital N, which represents the size of the population. Lowercase n represents the size of the sample. So let's write that sample size, and this is the population size. Now the rest of the formula will be very similar to what we have above. It's going to be x1 plus x2 plus x3 all the way to xn, but we're going to use capital N, divided by capital N. And so now you know the formulas that correspond to the sample mean and the population mean. They're very similar. 
So that's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching.